Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Sephora VIB sale haul for you. This is a big one. I have a lot of stuff in here. It might be my biggest one, at least the most I've spent in a long time on a VIB sale, but I got a lot of fragrance and you know that adds up, but I have tons of new products that I've been wanting to try. I've been waiting for the sale and kind of saving up and just waiting to buy some of these new items so that I can review them for you. I do get a lot since this is my job and I've been reviewing a ton of stuff lately from makeup, body care, and fragrance. So I went a little crazy. They had some really good stuff. I went ahead and did my order last night online, did a buy online and pick up in a store today. That's always my favorite way to do it. So Rouge shops today for 20% off and then VIB and Insider start shopping on the 18th. So coming up very soon, but all tiers can actually shop Sephora collection products today and throughout the sale for 30% off the Sephora brand. So you don't have to wait on that stuff if you guys are the VIB or Insider status. But anyways, I have a lot of stuff to share, so let's get into it. I also have a lot of it on because I always love to do a little try on. So I kind of know what to say about the products in my first impressions. Okay, let's start with foundation. I have been trying so many foundations lately and I feel like I just haven't fallen in love. I'm still waiting to find like the perfect new release, but I actually bought something that's like an oldie, but a goodie apparently. I've never tried this surprisingly, but I actually picked up two shades in the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I feel like literally everybody loves this foundation, no matter what skin type from dry to oily and even though it does say luminous in the name apparently it is supposed to be more of like a natural finish and not too glowy i did go ahead and apply it today and it does look very pretty on the skin it gives a really nice medium coverage it's not too heavy not too cakey at all and it does have just a little bit of luminosity to it that i have mattified down with my primer and powder that we use today so i figured i would pick up two shades one because i feel like i would really like this and it might be like a go-to even for photo shoots for me so that's why i wanted to grab my current shade and like my self tan shade if I do love it and what's nice is that they actually make this one in a smaller size so this can be very pricey for Giorgio Armani it's a lot more affordable if you guys get this size which is 0.6 ounces most foundations are gonna be a one ounce size so I have the shade two on right now and I also picked out 5.5 in that one I did go ahead and grab a new concealer I feel like this has been the talk lately it is the glowish by Huda Beauty they're bright light sheer concealer I was a little bit skeptical about this one so I never picked it up when it first launched because typically I do like a little bit more coverage with my concealers and I've tried a lot of glowy ones and a lot of ones that are you know more skincare focused like the Kosas and they never really worked for me because they wouldn't really set down on the skin I did try this one out and I actually am really loving it so I got the shade zero one fair it's supposed to give a refreshed glow. It's supposed to be long wearing and instantly awaken. I will tell you I really love the consistency of this concealer. It's actually very serum like so it's really lightweight. It felt super refreshing under the eyes and the coverage is actually decent. It is more medium. It's not full but it's really flattering under the eyes and I think I actually am really going to like this one. Love it at first impression but I do need to of course try it a bit longer um, sometimes with more glowy concealers my mascara will start transferring once I get a little bit oily and I've been wearing it a few hours but it's been like two hours now and I still feel like it looks really pretty under the eyes but I just feel like this is gonna be so flattering especially if you have some fine lines which I have fine lines I have very puffy under eyes as well so if you like something a little bit more lightweight for your concealers I think this is definitely one you're gonna want to check out with having oily skin I'm kind of a powder junkie and I've never tried the Fenty Invisi Matte and I feel like I've been hearing this a lot on TikTok of people really loving this one and this is gonna be probably one I'm gonna throw in my purse just for touch-ups and for like blotting it technically is it says instant setting blotting powder this is what the packaging looks like here it actually 
actually looks like a little book kind of. Is this the one that Rihanna used in the Super Bowl or was that the blotting sheets? I'm not quite sure. I didn't even know she had this product but I just started hearing about it everywhere. It comes with a little puff but usually I just carry a brush with me and yeah you can just kind of touch up if you guys get oily throughout the day like I do especially in the summer. I just always have to have a blotting powder in my bag. I can't wait to test this out and see how it works for me and hopefully holds up really well with my foundation. I also picked up this face primer. I did not use this today just because I wanted to try the Armani foundation with some of my tried and true products and since this is glowy I don't know if they're gonna be too much together but I had to get this one. It's just such a fun primer. This is the Refai Face Primer Glow and Sculpt. This was sold out for the longest time and it restocked just before the sale. My store also just started carrying their brand which I'm really excited about because I feel like this is a very popular brand on TikTok. I think Alex Earl probably made this primer really popular. So this is what it looks like and what's really cool about this primer is actually the applicator. It's like a roller which I think is so cool. So you squeeze the product and just roll it on the face. So I guess this is going to be nice in the mornings to kind of sculpt out, depuff a little and also give you that glow. Depending on the day I do like a little glow with my skin especially if I am wearing a more matte foundation or if I just want that fresh face kind of dewy look for the day. I think this is going to be really nice. Let me see if I could get some of the product out here. I'm just squeezing it very lightly and then the product just rolls on. It's actually very serum like so it's not sticky at all. I mean it definitely looks very hydrated and just refreshed so that'll be a nice kind of two-in-one skincare primer. I did not expect to see this in stores today. I'm kind of annoyed because I did order this last night because it said it was not available in stores yet but then when when I went to my store I had to go ahead and buy it because I wanted to show you and I don't know I only bought a few things on the website so I don't know if I'll have another haul up this is probably one and done for me unless more products release then you know I can't resist but they did have the Pat McGrath bronzers at my store my store just got this beautiful big new Pat McGrath area I usually don't buy Pat McGrath during the sale because usually her website has better sales but since this is such a new launch I know what It'll be a bit before there is a deal on this one but I am so excited that Pat came out with bronzers this is her first bronzer formula I love her blushes and her highlights she makes great complexion stuff I picked out the shade bronze dawn and I am wearing this one today I wish the packaging was pink like this uh, that would be so cute but it basically matches the blushes and then you open it up and it does have the embossment inside with the crown but I really like this color it's it's, these actually run quite a bit lighter than I thought they would but I got the second lightest shade and I feel like this just looks very natural on the cheeks it's a nice neutral color it's not too warm not too cool and it was very blendable it feels a lot like the powder blushes to me so I think I'm really going to love this I could see this being a new favorite bronzer I'm really happy with it so far and for what I am wearing I finally picked up one of the house labs blushes I've been waiting on this one for the this sale so I didn't know what shade to get though I feel like I have so many bright pinks so I went with a peach and this one is pomelo peach um, and her blushes are very pigmented so I really didn't need a super dark shade I love the house labs packaging and overall vibe I think it's very stunning this formula is very soft to the touch it feels like the bronzers for me and I love the color it's a very pretty matte peach it's still very bright and pigmented but it doesn't like go overboard like some of those darker colors I just don't know if I'd be able to pull them off and I just feel like this gives a really nice natural flush to the cheeks definitely something different than my usual pinks so I think I'm really gonna like that too and those were pricey so really nice to get a discount on it and then I did pick up one Sephora blush I could not resist and instead of going for the hot pink house labs I figured I would get this Sephora one instead this is called date night because this was a lot cheaper I think it ended up being almost nine dollars or something like that with the 30% off but these are so pretty look at this color this is like hot hot pink it really does match I feel like the house labs with What's it? Is it the watermelon or is it, I don't know what the shade is, dragon fruit maybe, but they're so silky soft and smooth, oh my goodness crazy pigmented it's a little bit powdery a little bit more powdery than the house ones are but do you see this 
I have one other blush from Sephora because the last time they were like all sold out but I feel like now people kind of stop talking about them but they're still great blushes and I would highly recommend them and you can definitely take advantage of that 30% off right now and this color is going to be so fun for summer it's very neon so that one is date night while we're on the topic of the Sephora brand I did get a couple more things so my favorite thing that I always buy every VIB sale is a Sephora brand brush I love their brushes and I can't resist the 30% off um, I have a lot of their eye brushes but I haven't tried many of their face ones so I picked up a couple new ones for eyes I picked up the number 13 I just wanted another all over the lid brush for metallics and like pigments and stuff so I think this one will be nice it has a nice flat top the Sephora brushes are great quality they're just as good as my refer or my BK Beauty I go for them a lot in my collection again this is number 13 it just has that nice flat shape I always like wet these with a little setting spray and dip into my shimmers so I just use these for every look so that's why I picked up this one and then I decided to try one of the face brushes so I got a blush brush which I did use today you guys will see it this is number 99 I think this is great for like more precise blush application I feel like this will be nice for creams too, creams and powder but you can see I just really could get in there and cover the exact area that I wanted and it didn't get all over the face I did use it with the house labs sometimes I go overboard when I have a big fluffy brush so I thought this was perfect for just like really precise application but it still blended out really nice so I did grab that for eyes there just hasn't been a whole lot of new palettes lately that have been exciting at Sephora but what I've really been into is just like really quick easy swipe on and go eyeshadow I don't know I just haven't been wanting to spend a whole lot of time with my eyes and I've been playing up the face a bit more I'm um, just a little bit more natural but I love a good sparkly shadow so this is what I have on now just all over the lid I finally picked up one of the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows and I actually haven't tried these since they reformulated them I used to have them back in the day I used the shade Diamond Dog all the time but they reformulated and these are so much better you guys so it is just a little single shadow and this color reminds me the most of diamond dog this is called lithium and this is such a pretty kind of cool tone bronze glitter it's stunning the old ones I feel like you had to use a glitter glue with they didn't really press on um, and weren't quite as shiny as these are these you literally just swipe your finger in and you get full pigmentation it's amazing you don't need glitter glue at all and you just get so much sparkle these are absolutely beautiful I'm tempted to get the other shade I think it's space cowboy but this color is what I usually go for I love a good a bronzy a smoky kind of look so this is absolutely perfect and it you just have to swipe this on and it looks like you tried really hard with your eyeshadow look so so excited to finally have a new moon dust shadow now since I have been going more simple with my eyeshadow looks I definitely wanted to try these new Huda Beauty palettes so my store already sold out of the warm one this was the very last cool one though that I was able to snag so I guess these were a lot more popular than I was thinking but they did get some really good reviews I will say I had to order the warm one online but I just feel like I'm gonna use these a lot this spring and summer because they're just so simple I love the packaging on these by the way so this is the cool matte obsessions how pretty is that and then yeah it's an all matte eyeshadow palette which I used to not be into because again I love my sparkly shades but sometimes it's nice just to throw an all matte look on the eyes and these just look so nice I think there is two creams in here as well these two colors are more creamy so I'm really excited to try this out I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of it so yeah I did order the warm one that one is on the way I will insert the swatches of this one for you guys though but I'm I mean I know sometimes the little obsession palettes can be hit or miss but I just heard such good things about these and I'm a huge Huda Beauty eyeshadow stan so wanted to pick that one up with the discount just a couple more makeup items I did get the new Fenty mascara and I tried it on for you guys today it's called hella thick volumizing mascara has Fenty had a mascara before I can't quite remember I feel like they probably did but this is actually very impressive um, I heard a couple 
couple good things about it online when I was looking up for what ideas to get for the sale so decided to go ahead and try it always love trying what's new from Fenty and I really couldn't believe this formula I love a good lengthening mascara and even though this is called hella thick I really feel like it adds so much length to the lashes I feel you can definitely thicken them up and build them up as well if you do put more layers on but I thought it was like really lightweight on the lashes and it separated so nice so I don't think this will get that clumpy so so far this is looking really good and then I did want to pick up a new lip product so I chose the NARS this is their brand new afterglow essential shine lipstick I'm all about a good shiny lip color I picked the shade orgasm this one seemed to be the one that was selling pretty fast but when I looked at the swatches online I really liked the color of this so this is just a full-on gorgeous shiny lip color and the orgasm shade has like little glitters in it it looks just like the blush it's such a pretty like peach with a hint of like a gold reflect to it i do have this on now and it is so pretty it just melts on the lips uh i love it's not like quite as shiny as let's say like the tart juicy lip plump or the makeup by mario lip serum but I think it's absolutely beautiful and I love the formula. So I'm really happy that I decided to go with this one. I know Makeup by Mario had a new lip formula that I was looking at, but it didn't seem to be getting the best reviews. So you can't go wrong with NARS. I feel like they always have such good products. Okay, so makeup is done. Let's move on to, I just have one skincare thing. I really don't buy a lot of skincare these days, honestly because I do get a ton of it in PR. <laughs> I really don't get a lot of makeup in PR, but it's always a ton of skincare, so I just really don't need anything. And to be honest, most of the skincare I buy is from Ulta, but I've just been hearing so many things about this Caudalie serum. So this is the Vino Perfect Serum Caudalie. And this is supposed to be like an alternative for a vitamin C serum, which I typically don't like vitamin Cs because they smell and they're sticky on my skin. This one doesn't really have a vitamin C scent. Caudalie always has a like natural scent to their products. I think it's supposed to help with dark spots and just overall evening the complexion. So to help with that glass skin effect, which I do have some spots from acne marks. So I would really like to try this out and see if I can get everything just faded out. My skin has been doing so much better. I feel like in the past year or two, I still get breakouts here and there. But I think this spring and summer, I'm really going to try to focus on using my skincare products and really caring for the skin because sometimes I can just be so lazy about it. So I can't wait to try this one. I just heard the best things about it. Okay, fragrance and body care. I had to go ahead and buy the new Sol de Janeiro cream. I did not buy the spray in this scent though, but this is the Rio Radiance one, Churros Churosa 87. So the spray is actually the same as the one that came out with last summer called Tan Lines and I just wasn't a fan of it. I don't typically like solar perfumes, but I did want to get the cream because I feel like this is going to layer so good with some of my more tropical or coconut type of scents. So yeah, I did pick up the cream and this one is supposed to be like luminizing too. So it says body glow with hydrating squalane. This smells like of rich sunscreen is how I can describe it. It, it. it is really pretty though. It's gonna go so well with Bath & Body Works Coco Paradise is I think something I plan to wear it with or Alien Goddess from Euglare. I think that's gonna be so pretty. I'm not noticing a big glow though on the skin. Maybe a little bit, so it's definitely not sparkly or anything like that. But I just love Sol de Janeiro's creams, and I don't miss out when there is a new one. Okay, I also picked this up on a whim. This is from Way, and they came out with a new scent in their scalp and body scrub. So I thought I would try a couple more luxurious body care items during this sale. This is in their scent St. Bart's, which I feel like I've heard so many people talking about. I think it's supposed to be kind of tropical too, but I heard this formula was really nice. Oh, that does smell really good. It's actually more fruitier and brighter than I was expecting, but that smells delicious. 
I think they also are coming out with a perfume in this one, or if they did already, they might have. I love Whey products, and I've used their original body scrub, and it was really nice. I had it in, like, a sample size, and I just want, like, a good scrub that's good for my skin, has good ingredients in it. I've had some issues with my skin lately where I feel like I've had really bad eczema, and so my skin has just been itching and itching, and I would itch so bad that I would have bruises all up my arm. I've never had that happen before in my life it's been kind of frustrating so i've been trying to kind of you know watch what i'm using on the body and i do like to keep it exfoliated and very soft so i think this will be a good one i know they use really good ingredients in their stuff all right let's do some perfume so every sale i like to buy one of the sephora favorites kits if they have new perfume ones these are always the best deal and i feel like people don't really understand what this is so i actually ended up getting this deluxe perfume sampler which is a little more expensive than some of their other ones because you get these little mini baby bottles which are really cute that have the fragrance in them but then you also get a certificate for a full size of one of these so it actually is a pretty good deal even though it seems expensive for $80 you do not just get the samples I think people get this confused they think they're paying $80 for these samples but no you're paying for the samples and you get a redeem for a full-size perfume that is probably a hundred dollars or so so this one actually had a couple new scents in it so i decided to pick this up this one even comes with a little candle too you can redeem for this one in the full size from Volo spa i mean if you did get the candle i feel like that wouldn't be a good deal but you do get that little mini candle to keep. So this kit actually had the just launched Versace Dylan Purple in here, which I'm debating if I want to redeem for this one full size. I can't decide between this one or the Fleur Missing Person. This is actually a really nice size spray that you get in this kit. So Missing Person, it's about $90 retail. This kit is $80, but you're getting already $10 off and then 20% off of that and then all these free mini perfumes. They even have the Nest Balinese Coconut, which, spoiler alert, I just bought this actually <laughs> at the sale. I didn't even know this was in the kit, but this one you can also redeem for. I think that one's $90. So yeah, you get all of that, and then your scent certificate is in here that you can redeem for a full size. Such a good deal, and including some brand new scents. I just think it's amazing. So speaking of the Nest Balinese coconut i did pick up the full size perfume oil for the longest time i thought i wanted the madagascar vanilla from them but every time i try it in store i just don't really like it that much it's not really a true vanilla and usually i don't go crazy for coconut scents but i just feel like for summer this is gonna go so good with a ton of my fragrances i just love a good tropical scent i can even layer this with the rio radiance from sol de janeiro i think this smells so good so this is what it looks like and what you're going to do with this since it is an oil and not a spray i will fill up the little dropper like so and then i'll do like a couple drops on the wrist a couple drops on my neck a couple drops like in some dry spots like maybe right when you get out of the shower and then you can layer it up with lotion with fragrance and having this as a base is really going to amplify your other coconut perfumes but this is such a pretty coconut it's like a pure toasty coconut it is so delicious it's just so pretty if you like coconut definitely try this one out and it does dry down really nice it's not greasy whatsoever but i know it seems like you don't get a lot of product but this is so concentrated and super strong so just use like a couple dots here a couple dots there and you're good to go and then just layer your fragrances on top of that Mm, I'm so happy I went with that one over the Madagascar vanilla. I like it so much more. Okay, we have to talk about this perfume. This is incredible. I am so excited about this buy. This is Dolce by Rosie Jane. I feel like a lot of people are talking about this now, but I've known about this fragrance for a while. I got it in a vanilla sampler from Sephora, I think last VIB sale, and I've always just had it on my mind, but I never picked it up. But I finally got it in a full size because they now carry this scent in stores, which is so nice because you get to go and smell it. But yeah, most Sephora's will have this one in stores now, but it's honestly blind by safe too. It just smells like vanilla bean. Like vanilla bean ice cream is exactly what this smells like. There's no other weird scents going on with this one. It is 
so incredible. I've definitely been sleeping on this because all vanilla lovers like need to have this in your life. The back it says it has notes of vanilla, hinoki wood, and then nude musk, but it literally smells like a bowl of vanilla bean ice cream. This is also a clean brand, so they do use good ingredients in their perfumes. I know some people can be concerned with that, so there's no parabens, phthalates. It's vegan and cruelty-free. Please pick this up. It's definitely one for us gourmand girlies. And then last but not least, you guys, I could not resist this little set from Paco Rabone. So I've tried this Fame perfume a couple times, especially when I go into Ulta. I always spray it, and I'm always like, yeah, that does smell good but I was like do I really need it so when I saw this travel set I was like okay we're gonna do it um I think it's like $33 or something like that for this so it's not bad at all so this set actually comes with this little mini guy which is so cute this is what the actual big perfume looks like just like this much bigger but they include a little mini one which is adorable this one it has the dropper I don't always like these but you have to like dip it on your hands and stuff like that they're just very messy but you get that but then you also get a little spray as well so this is actually the full-size travel spray which these typically retail for about 29 so I feel like you're getting a good bang for your buck with this one especially with the discount on top of it so yeah this is the fame this is a 0.34 ounce size let me go ahead and put it on I feel like this is just a very easy fragrance that a lot of people are gonna like it's not like super gourmand it's not too floral it's just it's just pretty this has notes of mango jasmine and incense so there is a little bit of a floral going on but I feel like it's very fruity sweet, kind of like how Valentino, Donna, Born in Rome is. I feel like those could be in the same scent family, and if you like that one, I feel like you would like this one as well. But it's just a nice one. I feel like it's going to be layerable. You could pair, like, different fruity scents with this one or some of your florals, but it's just very pretty, and I feel like it's very likable, great for daily wear, so... If you want something that's just easy, I feel like this one is a great one to try out. So I believe that is everything I picked up during the Sephora sale. Like I said, I did get just a couple things online, but we kind of talked about the things that I ordered. So I don't think I'm going to do another video. We will see. I think I got pretty much everything that I've been wanting. We got enough in this one already. And I will definitely film like a Sephora updates video once I've kind of tried everything multiple times and give you guys my thoughts again because this was kind of just like a first impressions but yeah I will have all these items linked down below for you guys if you guys do want to shop through my links I so appreciate it and I'll have the dates and the code you need for the VIB sale down below but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys